Hey guys, what is up? It is me, the Rice Master. Can you We're back with a new video. Fast. Sorry. Hey guys, what is up? It is me, the Rice Master. We're back with a new video. Today, I'm with my dad here. Hi. And today, I decided that a lot of the videos that me and my dad have both been in have been getting a lot of, well, good views lately. So, so I decided to do one more to see how it went. And so, basically, we're going to be watching here an antique restoration video. Because me and dad, we both love history, and he restores cars a lot, right? I do. A car. But you used to do it a lot in the past, like with grandpa and stuff? Of course. So anyways, guys, let us see wh what we have today. A ni 1890s antique potato, potato peeler. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's funny. 1890s potato peeler. <laughs> Why, you surprised they even had these? Of course. I had no idea. All right. Neat, I like it. I like it. It looks like it's built well. Hey, spider. Yeah. Ooh, that's rough. You're gonna need some. You're gonna need a shit ton of WD-40 on that. <laughs> Has not been lubricated for a while. Oh wow. I can see that. Wow. Does that work? I've done it. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. All right. So. All right. This is cool. He has to do that to take the handle off, I guess so that. he can re 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 redo the handle. I yeah, probably guess that. that. Yay! It's been a long time since anybody used square nuts. Uh, do you know when they use them? God, um, the last time maybe. Was the forties, fifties, I think, but they're not used anymore. Why not? Uh, modernization. That's what modernization. I think. Uh, why does it say Paris at the bottom? Was that made in Paris? Yeah, look, right here. Yeah, maybe it was. Okay, possible. It's hard to, say, uh, hard to say for sure. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, neat. You can see it, it was green originally. Yeah. I wonder why it turned green. I mean, why it rusted. Sitting? Probably. I like that. I wouldn't mind having a potato peeler. Neither would I. I don't think you could get one like he has. That's, that's over a hundred years old. Just think about it. A potato, a potato peeler that's over actually a hundred and uh, 24, 10, 134 years old. Yeah. I did not find any information on R. R. Philippin? Philippin. Except the machine was made in the 1890s. Okay, cool. Paris. Says right there. Yeah, yeah. I'll well, try to take a screenshot of that later, see if it leads to anything. And that's the door. What's the door Emergency for? Emergency exit once potatoes are peeled. Okay. Is 
They made sure that thing was secure. Well built. Very well built. 134 years. 134 years. How many things can you say that last 134 years? That's cool. Hydrochloric acid is dangerous. Wear gloves, glasses, and work outside if you can. Yeah. And they have a plastic tub. Look at it already. Wow. Soda bath to stop the reaction. What? Soda bath to stop the reaction. Wow. Holy crap, that looks like... Wow. It looks like what you see in a, an abandoned chemical factory, if I'm guessing. and a little sandblasting to finish the work. Why didn't you use, just, just use a sandblaster for everything? Here's one thing you need to do before buying anything Dang online. It Don't spend another dime on Amazon until you watch. Shut up. You could have sandblasted all of it. How long do you think that would have taken? Not long, you can do it pretty fast. You ever sandblasted before? What? Yeah. I prefer it over anything else. Ugh. Crack. It's old. The rest had hidden this. Uh oh. He's gonna have to do some welding. I think he's about to do That's that. That's why he's grinding the crack out. So you need to pull welding? Welding rod. He, he is arc welding. Didn't we, have, didn't we do TIG welding before? Yes. He's doing arc. Hey, not bad. Not bad. I don't want a smooth, perfect surface. I just want to remove the big casting defects and fill the holes. Bondo. That, that. Yeah, it's mastic. Yeah, that's what they call it, but I've always known it to be Bondo. Why, is there a specific uh, brand with that? It's the same stuff, but just a different name. Okay. It's another company producing it. It just fills in the pit. So it's sort of like a wood filler, but for metal. It, it's a filler, but for metal. But the Bondo, you can use it for anything. That's pretty cool. 
powder. Oh, okay. He's gonna he's gonna uh, coat it with sandblast with um, powder uh, coating. That, that that special coating stuff that goes on with a blaster, like that. Call the blaster gun. And he's powder coating. Then it's going to heat it up, get the paint to, to really glue itself to the metal. Then he does the other side. Yay! That's really, that's, I wish I had that set up. Who knows, maybe we can DIY it somehow. But the problem is, my compressor. It's too small. I have to get a much bigger compressor. Use a lathe like that before? Yeah, uh, I, uh, yes. Long time ago. And if you're going to do restoration work, you need a lathe. Is it possible to DIY a lathe? No. It costs too damn much. Well, that handle needs help. By its chopping motion, it's stop motion. That's pretty cool. Finishing with beeswax. Nice. Look at that. Decent.
Nice. I was about to say, he just did he just paint over the logo? It'll be varnished later. What exactly is the sandbox then? It's a 3D metaverse. The building blocks are voxels. Oh, that was the yeah, hinge pin from the door, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think is in that powder paint stuff? I don't know how they do it. It is paint, but th they somehow they get powder. Hang on. I'll be back. Alright, we're back. Oh, dang it, forgot the door. Alright, we're back. Officially. Love the rest of to keep the correct diameter. The old grades were made in tin plate, but the tin used in 1890s certainly contained lead. Uh huh. I'll make new ones in stainless steel. seen stainless steel like that before. Medieval torture instrument. Was he doing punching holes in something? Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be a lot of work. 4,992 holes left. Jesus Christ. Damn. It took me two days to make three.
The old screws and bolt were replaced by new ones in stainless steel. Jeez, how much does this have lead in it? Nothing anymore. So like in this this thing specifically, how much how much lead did it have? I couldn't tell you. I'm sure quite a bit. Oh look at that. That's really nice. Yay. to finish looks like. Nice. Showing before versus after. Time for the final test. Oh, really? Halftime result. You think you'd have to toss in water into that? They could, I guess. Hey, look at that. Wow. Looks a bit rough, but overall, yeah, it works. Nice. So, something preserved. Uh. <sighs> right well thank you guys for watching remember to like subscribe hit the notification bell oh wait dad any other final thoughts very good video i learned something that's nice learned what i learned more than i knew before like how they made a potato peeler um uh, sandblasting powder coating woodworking all in one very good video all right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked it, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Yay! Bye.